Hey, this is Tyler with TJX Survival. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this little Viking whetstone. So stay tuned. So a while ago, I was sent this little Viking whetstone. And basically, it's a whetstone on a necklace. Now, you don't have to wear this as a necklace. You can, should you choose to. Um, but I like the idea of having the lanyard either way because I have stuff like this in my pocket if I can find it. Little cables here that I can run it through and then loop it like this. And now I've got a way to hold stuff like that in my pocket without losing it, right? So that, that is a nice little ingenuitive idea. Now having said this, how do you use a whetstone? Well, if we back up and we think, what is a whetstone? It is literally just a shaved rock. And that shaved rock is going to remove a little bit of steel from your knife so that we reprofile the angle. So if you have a knife that has an existing angle, you just use that to shave it off. Now, the question that I always get is, do I use water, do I use oil, do I use spit? And my answer is always yes. It doesn't really matter, okay? All that that liquid is doing is lubricating and removing the little shavings of steel. So yes, you can use water. Yes, you can just spit on it like you know grandpa used to do. And yes, you can use oil. Some people swear by oil because it's a little bit slicker. Some people swear by water because it's not. It really kind of depends on the, the viscosity, I'm sorry, the uh, coarseness of the stone. This is a very soft stone, so it's going to be more for polishing. Uh, or for finalizing. If you have a really messed up blade, you might want to start even with a rasp or a, a file. And then if, you, if it's only a little bit messed up, then you're going to use the more coarse stone. But if you're just maintaining it, you're just going to use a soft stone, which is something like this. So the, ways that, the way that you use a stone, and you don't have to use a liquid, um, but if you start to get build up, then you're going to want to spit on it, take it off. So the way that, you, that I use it in the field is this. I put a little spit on it. Now it's a little bit of lubrication. A little bit gross, but it is what it is. Um, and again, this is, this is literally the way my grandpa taught me how to do this. So I will take the angle of the stone, just like this, and draw it back, okay? I find the correct angle, and then just draw back. I've gone six times on that side, then one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll repeat this going from six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, and then go one, 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 one on each side. So essentially, you would go 10, 10, nine, nine, until you're done. Until you're finally going one, 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 one. And because this isn't a long stone, I'm not gonna slide it down, I'm actually just gonna kinda pull it back. All right, guys, that's a real simple introduction to this how to sharpen with a whetstone, a great little Viking whetstone you can wear, and you know, that's basically how you do it. Hopefully, this has been valuable to you. If it has, hit the subscribe button, leave your comments down below, and thank you for watching T-Jack Survival.